The song itself is about, is, is just, uh, it's an elegy to no one about, uh, I, I always describe it as, you know, not fearing anything, any one, any man, any woman, any war, any gun, any sling or arrow aimed at your heart by other people because there is somebody finally who loves you for real and that you can achieve a real state of grace through somebody else's love in you. Everybody knows what it's like to create an artistic moment, so so-called artistic, artistic moment, because it's really just heightened humanism, it's just a heightened human language. If if you've if you've spent a night making love, you know exactly what it means to strip your ego down where you are there expressing yourself wordlessly collaborating on a moment that has an energy about it that is replenishing or even completely uh, inspirational in a way you could never imagine. And that's the way art really is. Are you doing your hair in the camera? Yeah, so I always look like crap. Oh, come on. I'm so tired of hearing this cute boy quotient around you, really. What do you mean you look like crap? Whatever. Hey, man, I didn't make it up. I look like crap 24 hours a day. I look like this. Got this mystery hair happening. Got this greasy ass face. Right now, are you feigning humility? I don't feign anything. I think people are divine and eternal. I think that people live on many, many different levels. You know, see things, understand things. In a way, yes, we're totally mortal, and I, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what that is, this flesh thing, or this earth thing, I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm finding out all the, all the time. It's packaging. But I guess so. I, sometimes I think it's just a dream that your soul had in order to reach out to people and to, and to kiss or dance or something. I wanna, I wanna, the more you learn about the nature of things, and the more you attune to it, it that's, I guess that's you know, the better off you'll be. But I believe in people, and I believe in, in their divinity. I believe in the divinity of nature, totally. And the order of things, and the many, many, many systems that make up chaos and all that stuff, and I love it. And I've, I've been messed up by it, just, it's just life. But I don't, uh, I don't, I, ob I observe the, you know, I sort of gather the nectar from all religion, but I really don't wholly trust in man's organization of God. When you were deciding how you were going to go about it all, what was it about this rock sensibility that, um, that just, you were keeping it's just true what to? I, it's just what I grew up with, really. It's the thing that excited me most. But within that ensemble lineup, two guitars, bass, drums, vocal, you can, you have a lot of music dragging behind you. Got a lot of hooks in it. it gathers a lot of other things. Anything's at your disposal. It's just, it's a, it's a tight unit. It's pared down. You can, uh, anything bigger would be like, I don't know, melodic rock, prog band. This is more like garage. It's more like punk, it's more like very economical. And besides, I, you know, the, the guys, there's so much range to, to what Mickey and Matt and, and Michael bring. For a long time, death and rock and roll, to some people, have been somehow syn synonymous. But there's so much about music that is life-affirming. Yeah, sure. That's complex to me. There's something interesting to me about that. Well, that's because we live in a culture that um, kills artists, wants them to die. It kills them. Wants I, I, them to make the sacrifice? Yeah, you know, it's like uh, people who talk poetically or act and express are totally uh, devalued. It's like women are devalued and their femininity, that everything that brings with the flow, the understanding the intuition, not like no knowing facts, but just think there's understanding things just somehow. That's very, very extremely devalued. It, it's, it's the seat of all art. It's the seat of all artistic expression. 
And I say that that is the cabin slave of the world. Grace is what matters in anything, um, especially life, especially growth, tragedy, pain. Um, love, death, about people, that's what matters. That's a quality I, I admire very greatly. Um, it keeps you from reaching for the gun too quickly. It keeps you from destroying things too foolishly. It sort of keeps you alive. And it keeps you open for more understanding. Thank you.